So you've created your Amazon listing and now that you actually go to view your listing as a customer would, you're seeing that it's currently unavailable. Don't worry, this is very common and today I wanna to share with you guys two ways on how to fix this uh, depending on your scenario. That way you can activate your inactive listing. The first thing that you want to do is sign into your Amazon Seller Central account and go to your Manage Inventory. If you're unfamiliar with the layout of all of this, in the upper left-hand corner, click the menu, go down to Inventory, and then select Manage Inventory. And then you'll be brought to this screen here. For this test account that I have, I have these filtered down to the inactive listings that I currently have. And these are actually two of the most common reasons why you have an inactive listing. The first most popular reason why you have an inactive listing is that you actually do not have any stock in inventory at your location if you're doing FBM, which is fulfillment by merchant, or you don't actually have any inventory at Amazon FBA. The second reason is that Amazon, after some time, they'll actually go ahead and deactivate your listing and close it. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is what does your status say next to your Amazon listing? If it says out of stock, we're gonna go through that one right now and you'll need to apply these steps. So first ask yourself, are you doing Amazon FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon or Amazon fulfillment by merchant? If you are doing Amazon FBM fulfillment by merchant, then you should actually have an inventory amount here. It should say zero and that's why it's saying out of stock. All we have to do to fix this if we're doing FBM is to add the inventory that we have. So for this example, let's say that we have 100 available units at our location that we're ready to fulfill. You type in 100 there and then you click save. Now after 15 minutes or so, it's gonna update your inventory and then it should activate your listing. Let's say that you want to do Amazon FBA. What we need to do first is we need to convert this to an Amazon FBA listing. What we'll do on the right side here next to edit, we'll select the drop down, and then you should see a change to fulfilled by Amazon. Select this, and then it's gonna ask you if you want to convert this to fulfilled by Amazon. Click convert only. Now at this point, your listing will disappear. Do not worry, it's gonna be coming back. Give it a couple minutes and then it will reappear being listed with FBA fulfillment. All right, now once you've given that a couple minutes, you'll see it reappear as you can see here and it still has the same status, which is what we'd expect at this point. Um, as you can see, the available units, you cannot actually change those now that you're doing FBA. What you would want to do now is you'd want to go down to send replenish inventory and then I'm gonna put a video in the cards right now which you can actually go and watch the steps to actually get your inventory from your location or from your supplier to Amazon FBA. Now the process behind this is Amazon is going to receive your products, they're gonna check them in and then they'll actually go ahead on their own behalf and they'll update your available inventory. As soon as Amazon does that at their fulfillment center, this will change from inactive to active. All right, so more than likely that should fix it. If you do have an inactive listing and it says close, this is a much easier fix. All you need to go ahead and do is go to the right here where it says relist. You'll go through the steps in order to relist your product and then you'll follow what we just did. If you're doing FBM, add the inventory that you have and update that where it says available. If you're doing FBA, make sure you convert your listing to Amazon FBA and then send your inventory over to Amazon.